हेलो गाइज वेलकम टू माई चैनल प्रेस द सब्सक्राइब बटन लाइक दिस एंड देन यू हैव टू टैप द बेल आइकन एट दिस इन टू द सब्सक्राइब बटन लाइक दिस एंड देन यू विल गेट द नोटिफिकेशन फ्रॉम माई चैनल हेलो गाइज वेलकम टू माई चैनल दिस वीडियो एट बी एक्सप्लेनिंग वॉट इज नॉन इन्वर्टर ए सी इन्वर्टर ए सी एंड द डिफरेंस बिटवीन द टू नाउ द नॉन इन्वर्टर ए सी और द ट्रेडिशनल टाइप ऑफ ए सी whether it is window type or split type and the inverter ac both they operate on the vcrs cycle that is the vapor compression refrigeration system cycle all right now in vcrs cycle we have four components that is the evaporator compressor condenser and the expansion valve now in non inverter ac what happens the compressor now basic difference between the non inverter ac and inverter ac is the operation of the compressor rest all the components and their working is same now this is the old technology and inverter ac this is the new technology now in non inverter ac the compressor it switches on and off after a periodic period of time now let us take an example that we want 20 degree celsius room temperature condition and we have set by remote 20 degree celsius in non inverter ac type now when the temperature now the cycle it starts operating now when the temperature it reaches up to around 19.5 degree celsius then what happens that the compressor it switches off because of the cut out points now in non inverter ac we have cut off cut out points now they are the electrical sensors and electrical relays that turn off the ac turn off and turn on the ac by using sensing technology now suppose we want 20 degree celsius in the room and after the temperature of the room it has reached 19.5 degree celsius so these cutouts having the sensors they measure that the temperature has fallen beyond the required so they turn off the compressor and again the temperature of the room it is starts rising and as soon as it crosses 20 degree celsius suppose 20.5 degree celsius then these cutout relays they again start the compressor and again the cycle starts working and again the temperature when it reaches up to 19 19.5 degree celsius the compressor it is turned off and the process is and the process is repeated so the temperature we require 20 point we require 20 degree celsius but it fluctuate between 19.5 and 20.5 degree celsius so we have required like constant so we want constant 20 degree celsius but what happens we get fluctuating temperature between these range 19.5 and 20.5 but we want constant temperature of 20 degree celsius so non inverter ac technology we need some new technology so inverter ac technology came in the year around 2013 or 14 then in inverter ac technology what happens the basic operation of the working is same that is it operates on vcrs cycle as well but in inverter ac technology the compressor it does not turn off and on it is constantly on and it operates at 20 to 30% of the rpm that is it adds it always it is on and it works at 20 to 30% of the total load whereas in non inverter ac the compressor it always acts at 100% load that is it consumes 100% power whenever it is on whereas inverter ac it only operates at 20 to 30% of the total power that is being required and so the silent operation because the rpm is also less whereas in on non inverter ac the rpm is also more and the total cost of the non inverter ac and inverter ac now let us analyze which is more cheaper or more economical now non inverter ac cost that is the capital cost of the setup it is less as compared to inverter ac but the non inverter ac its maintenance cost it is much more as compared to inverter ac and the non inverter ac the electricity bill it is also more for non inverter ac because the compressor whenever it runs 
it runs at 100% load so it draws much more power whereas the inverter ac compressor it draws only 20 to 30% of the power so it is much more economical to run and the inverter ac it is having more capital cost around more 5 to 6000 5 to 6000 the cost of the inverter ac is more than non inverter ac but when we see for a period of time suppose after 2 years then after adding the maintenance cost adding the electricity cost we find that the inverter ac it is much more much more cheaper and economical it is economical only the capital cost of the inverter ac is more but the running cost the maintenance cost it is quite less as compared to non inverter ac and inverter ac it is also much more silent in operation and we don't feel chill and hot at the same time we feel constant temperature in the room whereas for non inverter ac because the temperature it keeps fluctuating so we do not achieve 100% comfort and uh, the famous inverter acs five type of five companies that are making currently inverter ac that have been quite successful in the market i have given the links in the description so you can check those five type of inverter acs and you can purchase also from amazon and so this was the video regarding non inverter ac type and inverter ac type i hope you have found the video helpful if you have found the video helpful please press the like button please share my video on social media and please subscribe if you have already not subscribed you can check the description you can check the links given in the description and uh, you can watch other videos appearing on the screen right now also i will be seeing you in the next video till then take care bye bye